bit in. But before I do that, just to show the diameter on here, you've got two and a half centimeters. Now, for this to work, we're gonna have to take this adapter, fit it onto the blind motor, and it should grip into the area quite firmly. So you can see at the moment, if I try putting it in, it's quite tight squeeze. If you do struggle your one, you can slice a little bit off, maybe sand it a little bit. Let's get this attached onto the blind motor. With the screw removed, if I pull it off, you can see the shape of this. Now, before we put the adapter on, the first thing we need to do is put on this piece. And this piece is like an edge piece that slots onto here, so it gives it a nice flush finish with the blind. If I put it in position, you can see it just fits snugly in. Now, taking this end, if I place it on, there we have it. It doesn't move unless the motor has control of it. And we'll put the screw back on, and there we have it. It's in position. Now, the end with the pull cord, so let's see if it will fit in. So first of all, there's a slight notch in there, and the notch here, if I place it in position, slowly wiggle it. Ah, yes, it's going in. Quite a snug fit on there. And then with this, you see the end cap. And there we have it, that's gone in. So really pleased. Other ends in, I just used my pliers and just gently tapped it in and just went in. A little bit of plastic on the edges came off the fixture, but it's gone in really well. I've installed the blind and nice and clean, as you can see. Coming over to the side where the motor is, a little tip for you as you're installing it, sort of decide what angle to put it at. I think it's best just to have it pointing straight down so you can plug a cable in to charge it up directly. 